What's up, Min Buzz? Nintendo LP here, back with some more Kirby's Epic Yarn. Now, I want to say right at the top, I know a lot of you guys out there were big fans of the work that Ian and Yo Schiller did on the first part of this Let's Play. There is no way that I'm going to be able to take those guys' place, but I am going to do my best to fill in so this Let's Play gets completed. And since it has been a while, I feel a bit of a recap is in order. So basically, this game started out with Kirby's stomach getting him in trouble yet again. Kirby tried to suck up this meta tomato, but he didn't realize that it belonged to this guy, Ying Yarn. So to punish our pink hero for his Steph, Kirby was sucked up into a sock, which actually leads into another dimension. This dimension is known as Patch World, and everything in Patch World is made of yarn, including Kirby now. So since our hero is made of yarn, he can't suck stuff up like he's used to doing, and thus he can't transform. But wait! Kirby can transform into new and exciting stuff, just not the traditional transformations we're used to. So that sets the stage for where we are now, just finishing up Cool Cave in Kirby's epic yarn, and there's Kirby doing a dance with Prince Fluff, who sadly we won't be seeing as much of since I'm going to be doing solo mode and not co-op. Cause I'm all alone! Just like Donkey in the first track. No, I actually tried to work this out where I could like do co-op mode since that's how this Let's Play started, but for some weird reason Megan Fox isn't returning my phone calls. And then I got this thing in the mail called a rest training order. Have you guys heard of this? I mean, I wasn't even training for anything, so... I don't know, whatever. Let's just continue on the Let's Play, having just finished Cool Cave, which is a bit of an anomaly, in a world called Hot World, where everything else is fire and lava. So we're gonna throw this little patch up there, and it's gonna ignite a giant piece of meat. And you know dinosaurs cannot resist giant pieces of meat. This so looks like PBS Kids, it's like, Mmm, meat, I must eat it, yum delicious. So this dinosaur is gonna take the big hunk of meat and reveal our next level that we can go to. Thank you, dinosaurs. I always knew dinosaurs were cool, ever since I was a little wee tyke, and dinosaurs are gonna prove to help us out a great deal in our next level. So let's go to that level. No more dilly-dallying. Oh, sorry, man, we're gonna jump on your head for a second. Let's go to the dino jungle! And yeah, we're gonna play one player. Unless Megan Fox shows up in the next three seconds. Ah, oh, she didn't. Oh, well. You're lost, Megan! Alright, let's walk up on this dinosaur. Take out this spear, Waddle Dee, because you don't belong on this dinosaur. We're gonna do our best Fred Flintstone impersonation. Wilma! Except, I think Fred Flintstone was actually sliding down the neck, not pulling it up. Hope we didn't hurt you, dinosaur. Because in this level, dinosaurs are our friends. They're they're gonna help us navigate through and do all the cool stuff we need to do to get a lot of beads. Because for whatever reason, Kirby became like a crazy college chick at Mardi Gras. He's like, must get millions of beads! I like the eyes on this dinosaur. They're like those little eyes that you used to use in elementary school art projects. It's like, look, I put two of these on an orange and made a face. It's the annoying orange. Alright, we're gonna walk through here. You don't mind if I hit you right on your forehead, do you? Die, you button bees! You're gonna mess up my dinosaur ride. Ah, oh, look, it's your dino mom and your dino dad and... The mailman? What kind of twisted things do you have going on in your house? Ah, oh, poor dinosaurs. You have a very complex home life. Let's hitch a ride on somebody else. Button bees, I've already told you how I feel about you. You're annoying my dinosaur ride. I'm trying to ride on a nice, peaceful dinosaur, and you're getting in the way. Alright, here's our first bonus star of the level. I am gonna try to point out as many of those as I can. But I probably don't know all of the bonus secrets in this game. I am going to show you all three treasures in each of the levels. But as for all of the bonus stars, I'm just going to do the ones I know. And if I miss one, by all means, point it out to me. Because I am not the, like, ultimate Let's Player who knows every single secret. But I am going to point out what I know. There's the first treasure in this level, the torch. And you can probably tell that I've replayed this level once before. Normally, the first time that you play through a level, it's going to pop up its own little text box. But since it didn't, I just went ahead and used the power of video editing to tell you what that is. We're going to walk on these guys. Don't roll your eyes at me, boy. I'll send you to bed without supper. Let's go down here and take out this Shelby Cobra. No, it's a Shelby Snail. And we're going to throw it at this Waddle Dee before he hits us with the lightsaber. And wow. Epic throw, Kirby! Alright, Waddle Dee, I know you weren't annoying anybody, but I'm just gonna borrow you so I can throw you at this snail! And... Oh, this dinosaur doesn't look happy. All the other dinosaurs looked happy. Look, it's Chaos Emeralds, or Skittles Candies, I don't know which. But they're very colorful. Move out of my way, Spear Waddle Dee. I have business to attend to. There's the Candle Manders that we've seen before. Some weird combination of fire and a candle and a salamander. I believe if you do a dash jump, there's a bead over there, but I never can seem to get it over there. So if there is one, you can confirm that for me. Or if there's not one, you can say, dude, you're way wrong. Alright, so we're gonna pull these little tabs. That's how we're gonna navigate. And I actually have to pull the tab before I 
turn into weighted down, Kirby, because that won't let me do it. All right, so we're going to go through here and get the other bonus star that I know about in this level. If I can remember to pull the stupid button out first, there we go. And it's kind of tripping me out when those little stars appear at the bottom of the screen. It reminds me of Dora the Explorer. It's like, you did it! Ah, oh, jeez. That's what I get for talking about Dora the Explorer. I just died. It was such a horrible reference that I just got stabbed. I don't even know who attacked me. Was it you, Waddle Doo? You will just take the brunt of my anger. Alright, so let's go down here. And we're going to get our second treasure of this level. It's the new Dino Jungle CD that all the kids are listening to. It's the number one song in America on Ryan Seacrest's Top 40. I don't know. I have kind of mixed feelings about this game's soundtrack. On the one hand, it's not a soundtrack that I would listen to outside of playing this game because a lot of the songs feel kind of kiddy. Um, but there are a couple of good boss fight songs. The way they did this game is Feel Good sent their composer and they worked with two composers from HAL Laboratory, so they kind of had a mashup. It's not a bad soundtrack at all, it definitely fits the mood of the level. It's just not one of those video game soundtracks that I think I would listen to over and over again. Alright, so we're gonna walk up on this dinosaur and whoa, what have you been doing? You got a black eye and a band-aid, and this guy's got a scar. Have you guys been fighting? Even though you're not really doing anything, you're just kinda chomping at each other. Alright, so our third treasure of this level is gonna be one of those exclamation point mystery ones that we have to kinda follow until it stops. This one's not gonna make us chase it too far off. Let's see what you are. It's the Bronto Slide! Yeah, I'm gonna have a whole lot of fun playing with that at my house. Kirby sliding down the Brontosaurus! Yay! Alright, so we've got enough beads, more than enough beads to get our gold star ranking. So let's just get out of here before those dinos try to eat us. Those are the ones dinos that are gonna try to hurt us in this game. Er, they're not trying to hurt us, they're just fighting and we might get in the way of their fight. Let's see, can I get the five stars? I hardly ever get the five stars. Let's see if I can do it this time. Come on! No whammy, no whammy! Oh yeah! That's awesome, man. Alright, and Prince Fluff and Kirby do their awesome dance. We are so up. Hey, get off my head! I will not be a party. I don't like this, I'll turn into an umbrella and you jump on my head dance. That is not a cool dance, Prince Fluff. I demand you dance some other way. There's Kirby doing his, I'm happy dance, I'm so freaking happy. Alright, so there's all the three treasures there. We're also going to get the pepper patch that's not shown. Kirby, come over to play, oh, this room's so much fun. It's our little buddy Zeke, wait a minute. What's so much fun? What are you doing in there? Do you have Megan Fox in that room? Curse you, Zeke. You're always stealing my women. Ah, Zeke. Women can't resist that large piece of yellow yarn protruding from your... I don't even know. Alright, so we throw this red pepper into the volcano, and very Paper Mario-esque, it unlocks our next level that we can go to, and it's going to be our second major boss fight of the game. Looks like... A Moltres to me. It is gonna be a bird. It's called Hot Wings. Mmm, Hot Wings. Must go get spicy Hot Wings. Kirby's going to the all-you-can-eat sports bar. He's gonna get 25 cent wings night. Alright, so we're gonna go in here and take on Hot Wings. Some people have suggested that Hot Wings is this game's version of Dinoblade. I don't know if that's true or not. It would make sense. It would kind of fit in with the regular Kirby characters. So once we start this level, there's a regular Waddle Dee just waltzing along and... Oh my gosh! Lava splashes and makes short work of him. Poor Waddle Dee. Let his mistakes be a good example for you. And I'm going to do my bounce dance while this fight gets started. Alright, this fight is fought much the same way that we took down the first boss, Fangora. He's going to throw projectiles at us and we're going to pick him up and throw him back at him. And yeah, we only need 1600 beads in order to get the super cool ranking on this one. And we're already just about halfway there as soon as I collect the rest of that. Alright, so now we have 800 and we only need 800 more. After he does the first wave of attacks, he's going to shoot fireballs into the air, but they're pretty easy to avoid. He's also going to fly around on the screen, and if I can stop turning into a stupid parachute Kirby for a second here, I won't lose all of my beads. Yeah, it's one thing to collect them, it's another thing to keep them. Alright, so let's see what he's going to do. Throw some more projectiles. There's a lot more of them this time, but it's pretty much the same thing. Throw your rope at them, and then throw him. And let's see if we can collect them all. We might have the 1600 that we need right here. Avoid the lava that's going to splash. These beads are going to stay on screen for a while, so don't like worry about, I must get them all as soon as they appear. And he's going to shoot some more fireballs at us. I believe we just got one more hit. But after we've already hit him twice, he's going to take a much longer time to 
finally shoot the last of his projectiles at us. And if you miss the wave of projectiles, you have to go through this song and dance all over again. And speaking of song, I know I said before that I didn't really like the soundtrack of this game, but this song right here, versus Hot Wings, is awesome and I gotta stop talking about it or I'm gonna lose all my beads! I don't know which of the three composers did this particular song, but if you know, be sure to leave a comment and I'll have to like give them their props next episode because they did an amazing job! Alright, so here's what should be the last wave of projectiles. Just dodge them and then throw them one last time and you should be defeated. Hot Wings, it was nice knowing you. 2,000 beads, not bad. You can actually grind up and just like throw projectiles back at them to collect like as many beads as you want to. Stop dancing on my head, Prince Fluff. I know you're supposed to be the star of this game, but I'm the star of this game now. You will respect my authority! Ah, uh, that was horrible. I don't know where that came from. Poor Kirby, he gets no respect from Prince Fluff. But we do get one thing, the Hot Wings music, and we also get something else, the Hourglass Patch, which is gonna unlock our next level. But before we can see what that is, we have a cutscene, so Mr. Narrator, take it away! We did it! We got the magic yarn! Yay, magic yarn! The magic yarn shimmered and spiraled and swirled high into the sky. Much like a mystical spaghetti noodle, it's fixing the planet. As everyone knows, yarn is the only thing that can repair Patchworld. I hope this next world is good. Whoa! It's Treat Land! That's more off my alley. The yarn weaved its way into the fabric of the kingdom and stitched two pieces of patch land together. Meanwhile, back in Dreamland. Meanwhile, back in Dreamland. Wait, I just said that. Are you copying me? The Waddle Dees were very busy inside Castle DDD. Let's go. Hop, hop, no slacking off, barked King DDD. Just then, the king noticed that one of his Waddle Dees looked a little. Ah. Uh, <laughs> Strange. That Waddle Dee was actually one of Yin Yarn's creations. <laughs> Soon Dreamland will be wrapped around my knitting needles, Yin Yarn cackled. What sort of plan was he stringing together? What sort of plan indeed? It's kind of hard to take you seriously as a super evil villain when you're knitting. It's like, my evil nanny is gonna knit me some mittens that are a size too small and that's gonna take over the world somehow? I don't know. So the next time on Kirby's Epic Yarn, we could be going to Treat Land, but Kirby will just get a stomach ache if we go right away. So we're gonna instead go to the next place that we unlock. Throw the patch, Kirby! Yeah, we're going to be going to reveal yourself to us. It's an hourglass. It's filling with sand. It's a pyramid. What could it be called? It's the Temper Temple! Yeah, try to say that five times fast. Temper Temple, Temper Temple, Megan Fox, Temper, ah, uh, forget it. See you next time for more Kirby's Epic Yarn.